Hey, what's going on? I'd like to welcome you to Water Your Soil. So, I read my comments and in multiple videos I've been asked, how many credit cards should I have? So, I'm going to address it in this video. I'm going to let you know how many credit cards you should have. Now, the answer that I give you may surprise you. So, you want to watch this video, all right? Let's get right into it. Before I get into this video, I would like to address a couple of things, specifically comments, a few comments that were on my previous video in regards to, you know, what I wish they would have told me in regards to credit scores. Now, someone they came by and they said, are you insinuating that poor people cannot have good credit? Now, anyone who knows me and anyone who has been subscribed to me for the past year or so, you should know what my topics touch on and my point of view, my POV regarding, you know, credit, credit cards and things of that nature. And if you know me well, you'll know that I would never say anything in regards to poor people not being able to have good credit because seven times out of 10, that's usually who I'm helping get and achieve good credit. And that's usually who I have been helping over the past five, six, seven years or so achieve good credit. So I'll reiterate, if you have low income, yes, you can achieve good credit and don't let anyone attempt to convince you that you can. A lot of you may not know me well, you know, which is understandable because this is simply a credit and credit score channel. This is not really a lifestyle vlog type of channel, but a little background about me, you know, I grew up poor on the east side of Buffalo, New York. I don't hide from that. I always say that in videos. I don't hide from my upbringing. I grew up poor. So for anyone to think that I would make a video saying that poor people can't achieve something would be hypocrisy on my end. But anyways, let's get right into the video because I wanted to address that. I normally wouldn't address something like that, but I felt as though that was definitely something that needs to be addressed specifically in a video but let's get into the video how many credit cards should one person have now this is an interesting topic i say it's interesting because i get this question all the time like hey how many credit cards should i have and is three credit cards too many is four too many and i'm gonna let you all know right here the answer is gonna be a subjective answer i know you probably see videos and they telling you how many credit cards that you should have but in all honesty, it's case by case. Some people can afford to have more credit cards than other people. Some people need to have less credit cards than other people. And it all depends on where you stand from a financial and an income basis, as well as what you could afford to pay back and what you can be able to manage. And so people ask like, well, how many credit cards is a good amount? And I can't answer that. You know, I can answer what I think, what I believe. This is not something that you can set in stone. This is strictly my opinion, but I believe a good amount of credit cards for the average person is around three to five credit cards. So that's for the average person considering where the economy currently is and considering, you know, the average credit limits and things of that nature. Now, some people are in this credit game just for credit cards. So I'm assuming if you're in it for credit cards, you can afford to pay off whatever you spend with your credit cards. So I will never down talk people for having a lot of credit cards because, you know, I also have credit cards. So that would be kind of foolish to me. So I think it all breaks down to a case by case situation, whereas it depends on your income and how many credit cards you actually can manage. So that's going to be my answer in regards to it. I'm not going to give you a specific number because as I stated, it's not really a specific number. So let's say you do have low income. And as we all know, low income is subjective. There's no specific number of what low income is because for some people, low income may mean one thing. And for other people, low income may mean another thing, you know? But let's say you're considered to have low income, meaning you're not really bringing in a lot of money. What you want to focus on is being able to have a quantity of credit cards to the point where you don't put yourself in a big pile of credit card debt. You know, oftentimes people who don't have the income, they want to chase after points. 
And chasing after points with no income is a good way to land yourself in credit card debt. So I know a lot of YouTubers, they're more experienced, they're more savvy, they've been doing this for years. So you don't necessarily want to follow after them if you don't have the income, you know, because while they can rack up points and get a lot of points and a lot of cashbacks, they more than likely have the income to do so. You, on the other hand, if you don't have the income to do so, you'll find yourself in a financial hole trying to keep up with other people or trying to keep up with them. So you don't want to just go apply for credit cards and get approved and just use them to rack up money and just spend, spend, spend and knowing that you won't be able to pay it back because as I always tell my subscribers over here, credit card money is not your money. Your credit card limit is never your money. I don't care who wants to debate it, it's reality. It's money that you're strictly borrowing. So until you decide that you pay that money back, if you're outside of that 0% APR period, you're gonna get hit over the head with interest. So you wanna be careful with that. Now, if you do have the income and you just wanna have credit cards for different points and different type of benefits, then have at it. You know, there's no set number of quantity that you should have if you are able to manage the credit cards. So how many ever you can manage, that's how many you should go for. You know, I'm not gonna say, oh, you should cap off at 20 or oh, you should cap off at 30 because if you have a large income, you more than likely can afford to have as many credit cards as you want. So I believe if you want the quantity of your credit cards and what you can afford to have to increase, you probably want to consider increasing your income because income does tie into how many credit cards you will be able to manage. So you want to keep that in mind. I don't believe in set numbers when it comes to credit cards. Earlier, I threw out three to five but that's just considering what the average person usually has. But in regards to individual to individual and case by case, it's strictly your call. Use your own discretion. You know how many credit cards you can manage. You know how many credit cards will help you avoid getting in credit card debt. So be careful, no matter how many credit cards you decide to get, whether it's one, five, 10, 15, whatever, be careful, make sure you watch your spending, make sure you're able to pay back what you spend the very next month to avoid credit card debt or avoid paying interest, especially if it's outside of your introductory 0% APR period. But you wanna be careful no matter what. But anyways, this is Word of Your Soil. If this video has helped you out in any kind of way, be sure to hit the like button. Also, if you're new here, you're feeling the vibe over here, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications, that way you won't miss a video. Also, I have all types of videos on here related to credit, credit cards, I have credit cards for beginners, I have all types of videos, including how to apply for credit cards. But anyways, this is Water Your Soil, I appreciate you all for watching me and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right?